Yeah. When we sing that last chorus, the word bones came up. Yeah? Do you remember that? Bones. And it reminded me of um, Ezekiel 37, verse 3, 4, 5, 6. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, you know. Again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God of these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. And I put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you. Cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. You shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly rattling, and the bones came together bone by bone, and it goes on. And these bones, I think there's an awful lot of dry bones in this country at the moment. And God is going to re renew them and bring them alive. Because this is what we desperately need in these last days. I don't know if you believe that. But, but, uh, my Tisha, oh hello, darling. <laughs> Who got a Jesus shirt on? <laughs> no, I, I really do. And uh, if we pray into that, that the Lord will have his way and pour out his spirit on all flesh in this church and in others all across this land, because there's nothing else that's anything, any good anymore, um, <clears throat> with all due respects. And this, I mean, I, I gather loads of the Conservative MPs are now leaving the government. They're fed up with it, of what's going on. And they probably don't admit it, but they are. And it, our government is absolutely, because they do not honour God, that is a huge problem. They try and think it through themselves, and they're, they're pathetic. Father, I just thank you, Lord, that you are going to bring, use this, this little church at the moment, today, Lord, to bring revival to this town, Lord, and then further on, Lord. Father, I really do pray that in Jesus' name, Lord. And Lord, I hear this word sanctification around, and this is it, without holiness we will not see the Lord. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that you're going to do a mighty work in this in this. In this a church Lord. Lord I know in the past it only takes one or two people to break through to entire sanctification and the proper baptism of the Holy Spirit to set whole areas of countries on fire for Jesus. And I thank you Lord you're going to do this right here in Jesus name. Amen. <laughs>